But what I know is I'm feeling just fine. My life is like a red carpet, and I'm feeling like the richest millionaire. This is my world for me, and I'm the biggest star around here. I'm tired, man. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail, man. You might get the daddy experience later. So, I was running errands today, you know, and I'm listening to the radio as it comes on. And I, I really do hate this narrative where People go, you know, your, your, everybody's dad magically was a no, was was a no good son of a gun, right? And you know, he would never do anything and do this or do that, and he never cared, he never loved you, he abandoned you, he left you, you know. And I've talked about that before. Mama's God, Daddy's devil, right? And unfortunately, it creates a, a arrogant space in children where, you know, children, you know, they think they're, you know, because their interactions with dad, not, now you're a child thinking you've grown, and, but it's, and you might be a teenager or adult before you figure out that you're, you're in the wrong. You might want to be in a parent when you figure out you're in the wrong. And um, you might have that daddy experience later. Because we ha because I think we don't we, we don't talk about enough the guilt and the shame of being a kid that disrespected and disliked their, their father off of a half truth or a lie, or just straight up bold faced lie. And you went out and you treated the person, you you treated your dad badly and poorly because of it. And, but at the same time, I always wanted a dad. I wanted this and I wanted my dad to do this and that. I wanted the time. And it's like, eh, do you remember the things you were saying to your dad because you felt like you was empowered to be disrespectful? Do you remember the things you did to your dad because you felt like you was being, you know, you was, you was getting back at dad for mom or getting back at dad for because, you know, you believed a lie? And, I, and I'm just talking about the people who got who got lied on, not the people who people told the truth about, specifically the people who got lied on, right? And then you come to the realization, I don't know, 15, 20, 25, 35, okay. that you wind up in a situation where now you, you, you're like, I was a jerk. I can't, you're like, I was dead wrong in the jerk all those years. You know, I want a relationship with my dad. And it's like, you want a relationship? Well, what did you do to cultivate it? Like, for all you, for all you, and that's why I'm saying, I'm, I'm going to get to the later on part. Because some of y'all, uh, your dad probably called you and reached out for you for years, but you didn't, you didn't respond. And then you get a stop. And now you feel abandoned, but you, you don't count you know, 5, 10, 15 years, your dad was constantly reaching out for you, and you, you constantly had a bad attitude. Yeah, I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it. Then the person was like, okay, you don't want it. And then they, then you got a, you said you got abandoned. Then you have to realize you never picked up the phone and call. You never sent the cards. You never called to say, hey, how you doing? You never cared. Like, you know, that person could have been sick, had ailments or whatever things went on in their life. You never cared what was going on. And, and then you, you wind up becoming an adult. You have kids. You become a parent. And you never had the dad experience. You're giving it to your kids. And then you realize you still want it. You still want those conversations. You still want the, 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 that approval. You still want... You still want the guidance. You still want the, you know, you know, you can't help me with that stuff as a kid, but you can help me with this grown stuff now. You know, sometimes y'all might want the daddy experience because now you're the dad that's getting, that's being, that's having the lies told on you and the half truths told about you. And now you're reaching out to dad to get the dad experience because it's like, I get it now, right? And then, and then sometimes, um, 
you know, you might get, because of that, you might get it later on. You know, you might, sometimes you might never get it, right? But um, the other thing is, sometimes the dad might be, you know, hoping to give it to you one day. And, I, you know, I've seen guys, you know, there have been men who've passed away wishing that they could still be a dad to their own kid. And the kids don't find out until the funeral. You get what I'm saying? Um, the fa you know, because not, not a family has to say, tell their side, that side of the story. And it's believable coming from the family because they don't have a dog in the fight, really. They do with you, but then, then again, it's like, you know, you picked the side when you didn't have to, but you felt like you did. So... You know, but you might get the experience later on and you might not. Um, and then, I got to say it this way. Um, some of y'all just want that daddy experience because it's just a part of life. You know. Um, because, you know, as I alluded to earlier, some of y'all just weren't good kids. And... Now you want to have a daddy experience because you want to be a better kid to your father. So you can have a daddy experience that you should have had without all the animosity. But um, I'm going to leave it at that, man. Tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch y'all on the next one. Uh, peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm going to take you.